So, I'm back. Today we're going to do a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a talk about the time when you were at school in year 11. Obviously this is a very important time because you're doing your exams, you know, you got revised, all that bollocks. Okay. But there were a few things that were particularly memorable about that certain year of your life. And I'm going to talk about some of them today. Oh, I've joined with a fucking random at Oh Well. Today's topic is lunch times. Okay. Now, lunch times in uh, school in year 11 can be very, very either stressful or fun or just downright dumb. Okay. It was either one of the three. You were either the guy who went to all the revision sessions you could to get the best grade you could possible, or you just weren't that guy who, uh, just, you know, just didn't give a fuck, pretty much. Now, when you're having your regular lessons, this is like before uh, exam season, but before when you're just having your regular lessons and they're all saying, oh, you should start revising now and everything. If you're in third period like me and lunchtime is next, you're only thinking about one thing when it gets to like 10 minutes towards it. You're thinking, I've got to get to the fucking canteen for, for everyone else. <laughs> fucking hell, I'm bad. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, let's ignore that. At lunch times, there's only two places you're gonna go. It's either outside or inside, obviously. That's very obvious. But inside, if you ain't got a packed lunch with, you know, sandwiches and all that crisps and all baby bells and all that rubbish, right? There's only one place you're going. And there's only one of two things you're gonna get. It's either this or these okay now this was literally pasta in a bit of river water okay with a tomato that had been mashed by a potato masher and then just poured into the fucking tub but you didn't care you still wanted it because it was cheap it was one pound for a pot of pasta even though it tasted like skrillet piss you still went for it however if you were the other geezer who went for the actual oil food counter food yeah you had to rush because that's where everyone goes that's where everyone goes everyone else who wanted the next level of food would always go to the aisle of food and you'd literally be there 10 minutes before the lesson just as soon as the teacher started saying pack away you know you also, you're only thinking about one thing. How do I get to the lunch queue first? How do I get there first? What is the best route? What is the quickest way around this maze of a school? Right. And the only way is to run. Before you get out of the classroom, what do you do? You start inching forward towards that, that exit door. You start thinking, oh, I've got it. I've done it. And then the teacher comes and he's like, excuse me, can you get back to your seats, please? And you're like, but sir, it's only really got five minutes left. And then like, I don't care. I dismiss you. Not the bell. So you can shut up. Well, you get the point. But when you finally got out that door, it was like you were in the fucking Olympics. You sprang as fast as you could and as hard as you could. If it doesn't matter how big your PE kit was, if you had PE on that day or food tech on that day, like like me, you you were carrying like fucking six and a half tons of fucking PE kit through a fucking corridor with a bunch of little kids running at the same pace as you. Everyone had the same mindset at lunchtime. Everyone wanted to get to that fucking queue first. To get there, you had to be ruthless. You had to survive. If anyone gets in your way and you're a year 11, you just fucking barge them. up telling you, you just, you don't care, don't care. You don't even care if they're little year seven, just don't care. Don't care. However, as soon as you got to the bloody front of the queue, you've made it, made it. You're thinking, oh, it's all worth it in the end. As soon as you got in front of the queue, picked out your item that you wanted, paid for it and everything. Life is good. I am in a good mood today. And then you bite into that stale piece of cardboard with a bit of cheese on it, and you realise that it wasn't fucking worth it in the first fucking place. Also, in the hallways, if you... Don't tell me you ain't fucking done this. If, is there, if there's a jam in the hallway, everyone's trying to get somewhere, and you and your mates are in the fucking... <laughs> you lot are at the end of the hot corridor. You're trying to get one way, but it's blocked. So you and your mates, you look at each other, you think, fuck it, and you just... You just push. You just fucking push these guys, whoever it is, even if it's a fucking teacher with a coffee. <laughs> they're very precious about their coffee, aren't they? Like, watch out, I've got a fucking coffee. Like, fuck off, mate, I don't care. You were only ever a top, top lad if you rammed in hallways, okay? That's all I'm saying.
Wow, you're fucking shit, mate. You'd be pushing everyone, even all the little kids. You know, you really wouldn't care who you were pushing as long as you got, as long as you got where you wanted to go. Doesn't matter who you got bounced on the wall, knocked out, broken nose, doesn't matter. As long as you get you and your mates get where you want to go. Damn. Are you fucking Fuck off, you fucking asshole! Fuck you! Fucking prick! Fuck's sake! Anyway, if you had biggest PE kit out of the lot, you were going at the front of the fucking line, mate. You were charging, plowing through these fucking pile of people, just smashing against the walls. Oh, mate, it was fucking great fun. Anyway, that'll have to do it for today because I'm tired and it's late, so I'm gonna go to bed. Um, this will probably be like a, I'll do like four more of these, you know, like bits and bits of memories from school. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of School Memories.